YSI 2900 Series Biochemistry Analyzers. Daily Checks. Empty Waste Bottle. Check the Calibrator Bottles. Check the Buffer Bottles. Check the Tubing and Connections. Check the Membrane Integrity. Check Membrane Linearity. This help video demonstrates the basic steps to take daily to keep the instrument fully operational. First, empty waste bottle to prevent overflow. To empty the waste bottle, pull the waste tube out of the hole in the waste bottle. Unscrew the lid of the waste bottle. Remove the waste bottle from the tray. Dispose of the contents of the waste bottle appropriately. Place the waste bottle back into the tray. Screw the lid back onto the bottle and insert the waste tube back into the hole in the bottle. The next daily check is to check the calibrator bottles. Check the calibrator standard fluid level. If the fluid level is low, install a new bottle of calibrator standard. Check the calibrator standard working life. If standard is outside of the recommended working life, install new bottle of calibrator standard. To install new calibrator bottle, unscrew and remove the lid from the old calibrator bottle. Mark the date of installation on the new bottle of Calibrator Standard. Place the new bottle of Calibrator Standard in the tray. Screw the lid and level sensor assembly onto the Calibrator bottle. On the main screen of the instrument, touch the service icon, then the pumps tab. Turn the appropriate cow pump on for 90 seconds to prime and flush the cow system. The next daily check is to check the buffer bottles. Check the fluid level in the buffer bottles. If the fluid level is low, install a new bottle of buffer. Verify that the buffer has been in the instrument for 7 days or less. If the buffer is older than 7 days, install new bottle of buffer. To replace the YSI 2357 buffer, prepare buffer solution and make sure that all chemicals have completely dissolved. Unscrew and remove the lid from the old buffer bottle. Pour the freshly prepared buffer into the buffer bottle. Record the date of installation on the bottle of buffer. Place the bottle of buffer in the tray. Screw the lid and level sensor assembly back onto the buffer bottle. From the main screen of the instrument, select the service icon and then pumps tab. Turn the appropriate buffer pump on for one minute to prime. The next daily check is to check for leaks to detect loose connections or worn tubing. Visually inspect areas around tubing to confirm that there are no loose connections, leaks, or areas with worn tubing. The next daily check should be carried out after a successful calibration and before running samples for the day. This check confirms that the enzyme membranes are structurally intact. To carry out this test, pour a small amount of YSI 2363 potassium ferrocyanide, FCN standard, in a test tube or multi-well plate. Place the sample at station two. Run the sample. Values less than or equal to the FCN limits indicate structurally sound membranes. The FCN limits are listed in the manual. Values greater than the FCN limits indicate membrane structural failure. If readings are high, recalibrate and repeat all the steps above to confirm. Pour a small amount of linearity standard in a test tube or multi-well plate. Configure the instrument to use the chemistry required for the specific linearity solution. Run the sample. Membranes that are performing properly will have linearity standard readings that are plus or minus 5% of the specified tolerance limits. Values that are out of tolerance indicate an aging enzyme membrane. If readings are out of tolerance limits, recalibrate and repeat all of the steps above to confirm.